election this morning, the um, <coughs> last Thursday of the month of June 2013. Good morning once again. And uh, next, I'll be taking a look at personal development and motivation being a key to success. Now, um, if you ask me, of late, there's much talk about personal development. People want to go to school wherever, wherever they are, no matter how old they are. They want to build on what they are, they want to develop their career, you know, move on, I mean, build their capacities here and there. That's uh, a good way of um, personal development. And then there's that motivation factor too. But um, seriously, sometimes you want to break the two off, discuss motivation on its own and personal development on its own. But I have some guests with me who are very special in these areas. I want to see how we're going to discuss these issues um, dispassionately. And I have with me Mr. Bernard. Kelvin Clive, an author, and uh, um, Jeremiah Boabing, a motivational speaker. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the discussion. First of all, let, let's look at um, personal development. Both of you give me your, your insight about what is personal development before we move on to motivation, because I want to see the two um, separately. Then we try and merge them. Oh, Ben, I want to start for me. Uh, okay. I'm uh, looking at the uh, word. Personal development That's is right. the key to it, uh, mm -hmm. personal and development. Absolutely. Right? Personal, look at your persona, mm -hmm. who you are. Mm -hmm. So that is to do with the person mm -hmm. and development. How then do you I mean, help yourself grow or mature? So That's together right. to but basic about self-growth, mm -hmm. that is personal development mm -hmm. in the basic thing. But it's a long, a lifelong cycle. That's it's right. not just one time thing, yeah. lifelong cycle mm -hmm. from discovering to execution and all that. So lifelong process of redefining yourself and shaping yourself and growing and maturing. Mm -hmm. That becomes your personal development. Wonderful. Partner partner. Wonderful. Jeremiah? Yep. Well, personal development is a process of self-navigated training, wow. meaning that it's not just training by an institution. It's training that is driven by self. Because most of the time, people rely on what they get from school. But the knowledge and the training we get from school is just a small part of what you need to succeed in life. Mm. So personal development is a real school of life. That is where you really school yourself, you acquire new knowledge, develop new skills, and build your capacity to achieve your dream. Because in the final analysis, mm. why are you developing yourself? Mm -hmm. It's to achieve a dream. So getting new knowledge, acquiring new skills, and expanding your capacity to really make a contribution to society. Mm. Wh why is it necessary, Bernard, for one to um, embark on a personal development agenda? Um, the, the, the advantages are enormous mm. and great. Uh, first of all, if one, uh, the one doesn't know himself, him or herself, you can then develop so that if you get to know yourself, you can achieve so many areas, in success in areas of life. One is your personal life too, mm. maybe your first personal life. In that area, you want to dis discover maybe your social life, your finance, okay, your financial life, your career life or job life. Then you discover this three or four, your spiritual life, that's also very important. All right. Now, looking at these four basic pillars of your life, your spiritual life, then you, can, how do I grow from here? How do I become a better person? Look at your, your career life, career options, job creations. What do I need to do? How do I get to where I want to be with what I have? What skills do I need to develop? Mm -hmm. Okay, then kind of personal life, your finance. Uh, how much do I earn now? How much do I want to earn the next year, the next five, next ten years? So knowing all this, like, look at your personal life, your health. It's very important because that good health, you can achieve all these four uh, pillars. You can achieve all this. So knowing all this, your spiritual life, your personal life, your finance, your health, and you blend this two, then you can achieve your set goals and targets. Mm -hmm. that, that's everything will be just in vain. Mm -hmm. You're just uh, running about and trying to do nothing. Mm -hmm. So that is, that is the thing. Mm -hmm. so Jeremiah, in, in a modern world, right, um, if, if one says, well, it's personal, so if I decide to be where I am, I mean, I mean, how, how is it going to affect the rest of society? Is it possible? Because we are interrelated. If, you know, you know something? Yeah. If, tell you, me, decide tell me to, if you decide to be where you are, mm. not only do you affect society, you affect your own life. That's right. Because this is how life works. When I contribute to the world, mm. I improve the quality of the world. And therefore, the world also affects my economic well-being. It, to it to aff affects my pocket. That's right. Let's give an example. Okay. The event of the mobile phone, mm. Martin Cooper, mm. invented a mobile phone and made the world a better place to live. So you can have a meeting with someone in London without necessarily going to London. Mm. Why? Somebody invented a mobile phone. Mm. Now, when he invented a mobile phone, it made the world better. It also made him rich. 
He was a vice president for Motorola when they sold his company a few years later. He made $23 million in 1986. So if you make the world, if you develop yourself and make the world a better place, it will affect your own life. You will live a prosperous life and it will affect everybody too. So if you choose to be where you are, then that's your choice. <laughs> why, why let everybody go for it and you stay where you are? Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Now, how, how expensive or easy is it for one to develop him or herself? First of all, not, nothing good comes easily um, mm. in, in that life because if you, <coughs> if you want to develop yourself, it's, n it's not that difficult. It's not that easy. Mm -hmm. the, but that's not, that does not mean that's not achievable. That's you right. can you can do that. Now, mm -hmm. it's, there are simple things that everyone can do to mm -hmm. develop him or herself. Mm -hmm. And maybe you can go to some of the basic things too. Now, you look at, first of all, is basically you discover yourself. Who am I? You are not your job title, your job description, or your school, or your past school, or your previous or things. You are not those things. Yeah. The key things, sink deep within yourself. That, that calls for the process of finding who am I? Okay, mm. you find yourself, you find your purpose because you can't develop something you don't know. Mm. So you find your purpose, find who you are. Then these are the processes. So, basic for instance, for instance Bernard, before you go ahead, the, the, that aspect, who am I? What am I looking out for to identify myself? There are a lot of ways to really find uh, who the, the person mm. is or your purpose. Mm. The first thing that I want to consider to, to state is you go to your creator, your maker. Oh, okay. Whatever religion or belief system, we mm. all believe there's a super. And Absolutely. Uh, so we go to God. Uh, why do you create me? Mm. And most of the answers, if, if you believe, I, I found in the scriptures. And when you come to your, your natural giftings and talents, mm. there's always a trait or something leading to what you exactly. can do. That others don't have. Yeah, others don't have. Mm. And the third part is discovery. Sometimes by doing a lot of things, you find out what you can really do. Mm. But if you don't discover, you don't experiment, you wouldn't find that hidden thing within you. Mm. So these are some of the things you can find out who you really are. Not your job title, mm, description, yeah. career. Yeah. Now, knowing all this, then how do I develop? How do I become a better person mm -hmm. by, by pursuing your giftings, your talent, your purpose, your calling? Mm. The key thing is w uh, what you can do now is not necessarily what you are called to do. That's right. So we can all do a lot of things, but are we That's called right. to do that specific That's thing? Right. When you find your purpose, and how then do I develop mm. uh, by career options, education, you, you, you find out now let's look at let's pick a, a, a basic example you want to become a movie star mm. okay mm. you don't just sit down by just watching movies and watching movies one wise man said that if you if you want to i mean do something do it you, you can't just observe so you practice you rehearse you learn then you experiment mm. i want to become a movie star i watched the stars in the movies mm -hmm. i go to training that, i find that's a level of observation, observation that you move, move on, on to that's right to to practicing mm -hmm. now i frame all this learning process in the word learn if you can look at that quickly mm -hmm. so i want to learn personal development the key word or acronym is l learn you listen yeah Beginning, what what are you listening what messages are you listening to mm -hmm. what books are you reading what are you feeding your mm -hmm. spirit with so mm -hmm. that's the first thing to learn what you are you mm -hmm. listening are you paying attention to things around you mm -hmm. then we go to e Mm. The E is after after listening, you experiment, mm. you examine. So are these information right for me? Mm. You examine them, you critically look at this information you are receiving from all the sources, messages, reading, all the v videos, you examine them. You move on to the, the next one is A. Mm. You act. Mm. Most of the time, you can read the best books in the world, listen to the best messages yeah. and watch, but we are not acting. That's what stops most people. They can listen, they can read all the books, attend the best schools in the world, yeah. but they are not acting. That's what one thing that stops most people. So next thing, you act. Well, after acting, you, you come back again. That's E mm. L E A. Mm. Then you look at R. Uh -huh. When you when you start acting, you make mistakes. Mm -hmm. So you come to reassure yourself. Okay. Okay. That okay, I still can do that. Others try that, they failed, but I can also do that. Mm. And the key thing for all this is all skills are learnable. You can learn every skill that you want to. So you reassure yourself that I still can make it. That's when motivation comes in. You yeah. need motivation well, to, to keep, to go, to to keep going. So you reassure yourself that this, this path, I still can do that. And the last part is the end. Then you come to your nurturing stage, mm. picking up all this and feeding into your nature. You develop this gifting. Learning, you, you learn, you listen, you act, you reassure yourself, you practice this. Then you nurture, look at how does all this and still fit in my purpose? Mm. I might still become the better person that I want to make the world a better place. Wonderful. Then it means you are really developing yourself from the word learn. Wonderful. Jeremiah, yeah. uh, um, he is giving us a, a catalog of 
what we we must go through okay um, when it comes to personal development but um, I want to ask you this um, do we need help from a second party or a third party if you like to help us go through the process of personal development yes we do we do because you see even for the most highly motivated person mm. there are times that you become discouraged you become discouraged because you have met with failure or you've heard something from your environment mm -hmm. that depresses you so no matter how highly motivated you are internally mm -hmm. you need a second party you need aids mm -hmm. so it could be a mentor believe me i say this i can say boldly that the most visible young people in ghana today are those who have mentors wow. why because there are people who have been where they want to be who are helping them who are guiding them so you need a mentor you also need to create your own atmosphere or environment you see if you understand mm -hmm. that your motivation or inspiration is key to fulfilling your destiny don't just allow anybody to enter that atmosphere and pollute it or mm -hmm. contaminate it so you need to protect your atmosphere who are your friends who do you listen to you know let me give an example okay when I was in high school I that's why I got a whole vision of becoming a motivational speaker All right and I had a couple of friends that I used to talk to and Many of them didn't believe in me, and guess what? I cancelled all of them out of my life because I, I, I say this, you kill your friends before they kill your dream. So you are nice people, I enjoy being with you, but if you don't enjoy my dream, dream. then I won't enjoy your company. Wow. So you, you have to be deliberate about who and who you allow into your environment, what you listen to. Mm. If you think that listening, listening to political discussions mm. uh, uh, sort of burdens or depresses your spirit, then change the things you listen to change the, the preacher you listen to. Even the church you go to me, you know, there's God and Jesus in every church. So what extra plus makes you decide which church you attend? If the church you attend is a church that makes you afraid of life, mm -hmm. you are, they're always talking about witchcraft and spiritual weakness, and that makes you scared about the future and about your own success. Change your church. Go to a church that encourages you, that inspires you, that makes you believe in yourself and what you have to offer the world. Mm -hmm. So it's a choice, and you certainly have to employ the aids of these things to mm. move your life forward. Mm. Mm. Now, to what extent does um, <coughs> motivational, do motivational speakers, if you like, or mentors, you know, carry along um, the, the, the start startups at, um, people, you know, to what extent do they, do they influence their future? Well, in several ways. First of all is hope. Many people look at their environment or their background and that seems to place a lid on how far they think they can go in life. Mm. So what we do as motivators is to help people understand, give, show people examples that these and these people were in social and so environment mm. and were able to move themselves out of that environment. Mm. So we give people hope, want people to believe that it is possible in spite of whatever disadvantages or limitations that they have mm. in their environment, mm. that it's possible for them to mm. move forward. Mm. Then secondly, we also help people with self-knowledge. Mm. How do you understand yourself? Because many, the reason why many people are going to UK to pay three thousand pounds is that they they understand that success has to do with environment. So, if I'm in the UK, I can succeed. If I'm in Ghana, I won't succeed. You see, if you succeed in Ghana, you won't succeed in UK. Why? Because success begins from the inside out, from within you, from the way you understand yourself, your strengths your aptitudes, your abilities, your gifts, your talents. Then you connect what you have discovered within you to an external opportunity. So if you haven't discovered your gifts, your talents, your abilities, your strengths, you can go to the best environments in the world and you will still fail. So we help people discover themselves, discover their strengths, discover who they are, what is my calling, where do I fit in life. Then thirdly, we help people enhance themselves. Because after you have discovered what you have, a gift is a raw material. Mm. I say that a gift is crude oil. <coughs> what we do is to provide a refinery <coughs> process for refining that crude oil. It is pencil, and we serve as sharpness to sharpen that pencil. It's a sword, and we serve as quarting stones to sharpen th those swords. Mm. So we help people enhance themselves, <coughs> and we, we tell people what is possible. For example, before Albert Okran came into the industry, m many young people hadn't envisioned the possibility of taking whatever they are doing global. But today, everybody's talking about global. Who you write a book on take it global. So we, we expand the horizon. We increase possibilities. We let people know that, look, this is what we are used to, but we can have better 
and bigger results with mm. our lives. Okay. Le from that point wh where you mentioned Albert, that, that puts me on a very good pedestal for my next question to you, okay. um, Bernard. Now, if you look at the role shows that um, <coughs> Legacy and Legacy mm. organize here and there, carefully, I might be wrong, okay. but you realize that it's, it's well cut out for people that are the elite, who are in school, who have completed school, don't have jobs, and all that. But then those out of school, from the informal sector, most of the time, do not find themselves at such fora. Meanwhile, we have a large chunk of them, too, who has some ideas. How do you think we can, we can rope some people to, to then I'll go to him on that also. <laughs> okay, uh, looking at key, key, key thing, everyone right. needs motivation, That's everyone right. every, in every field. But looking at uh, events, such, such events, mm. every event and the particular targeted audience and class Absolutely. of people, so Absolutely. that might meet uh, uh, the demands of certain class of people right. that for that aspect. That's How, right. Yeah. However, um, for personal motivation mm. and individual mm. and look at mentorship and goal, it's when you uh, first of all discover yourself and you're, you want to get motivated, mm. move on. And motivation is serve as the fuel that drives you, that edges you on. So when you run out of fuel, you need more motivation every mm. now and then mm. to keep you going mm. to, to get wherever you really want to. Want to now, yeah. I always yeah. fall back, down back to you, I mean purpose, person, because example, when, when I started writing, I didn't write because I want to become a best-selling author or because mm. I want to write books. Well, what's your latest, your latest book? Uh, that of Personal Branding. Personal branding. branding. Okay, all right. Now, the goal was not to write a book and sell and make money. The goal is to communicate uh, from, from purpose. How can I help people with the little that you can do? So you still work from purpose, not, not any other purpose and passion. How can I help somebody with the little that you can write, with the little you can communicate? That's right. So that when you fall down to purpose, the inspiration and motivation will not be that difficult to, to write on. But if it's any other factor, you want to, you want to uh, pursue fame, I mean money, that's one of the things that are killing uh, most uh, personal development cycle of people mm. uh, or the youth this, this age. Mm. They want quick things, overnight success. Okay, I, I'm seeking for fame and fun. Good. L let me put it on pause here. For instance, for instance, those who are selling along the streets, mm -hmm. you don't think that any of them or most of them also have certain gifts in them that should be developed. But now they don't have any platform to put them together and all that. These are people I'm talking about now. Can so you? Can so you how do you reach exactly? Such exactly. Then I, I I'll, I'll definitely go to um, Jeremiah on that. We can always create a platform for such people. No, we don't. How we? As a country. As a country. Um, we have not. It Tell me of, of one <laughs> platform. Okay, maybe I might not know, okay. but I might not know whether yeah. there's a platform. But I'll still start from maybe some some of these people, or maybe our local churches, our mm. local communities. Mm. I think they organize uh, developmental programs mm. to help them mm. through. So these are one of the channels. And because some of them, their level of education, so uh, TV shows, mm. radio shows, don't meet their needs. Mm -hmm. So they always fall back to what they know and they are used to. Mm. So if, if we create a platform for them, uh, a specific uh, radio program. Do they, will they listen a TV show? Will they watch or uh, are they more of entertainment? Mm. That's one of the things to because most of the people that we think they need motivation are geared towards entertainment. So, so, so you don't think that, that we need to look at how we package stuff for them that that will be attractive to them. Yeah, that, that, that is the source of motivation. If you All find right. out what they need, need. that's, that's right. the, the basic driver of All motivation. Right. So if they need, uh, if we need to create a, a way, market forum or something for the market motivation, I want to call, right. if that's the platform that, that meets their need, then we use those channels because n not one, one size fits all. That's not right. everyone so watch TV yeah. or lesson. Yeah. But if it's yeah. a market, is a, a local community, you know, communal labor, then it through that, we just communicate in their local dialect, the things where they can understand. Great. Maybe they need. Great. Jeremiah, you're a bit on that. Um, first of all, I would say sure you were, I, I you were so eager to come <laughs> on that. <laughs> yes, sir. I, I would disagree with you. Okay. Um, it happens that... You have a chance to do it. Uh, it happens that it is those road shows that get a lot of publicity or visibility. Mm -hmm. However, there are lots of speakers out there who are reaching these people through churches. I, for instance... Through churches. Through churches, okay. through community-based events. All I, for right. instance... In the past seven years, I've been speaking all over this country, speaking to young people in churches, young people in schools, encouraging people. But it doesn't get uh, a feature on radio or TV, so nobody knows about it. 
So it's not true that these people aren't being rich. These people are being rich. However, you see, um, success is undergated by personal choice or initiative. So if we're doing a program for a church and you choose not to come, that's your choice. That's your prerogative. But believe me, there are a lot of speakers out there who are reaching people through communities, through churches, who are reaching them. So it's up to those people involved to decide that they want to be part of it. So, so in the events where they, they, they uh, um, don't feel like being part of it, you don't think we have to go further, um, reach out to them, try to tell them something so they let, be part let of let it? Me, let me answer that by saying this. Okay. In the book of Corinthians, Paul says something. Mm. I planted... Apollos watered, mm -hmm. and God gave the increase. That's, that's right. That shows the three levels of pursuing success. Okay. I planted personal initiative. Right. That is what I do. And success is undergated by personal initiative. Mm. So what I do is so, so crucial to the success process. Mm. If I am not willing to do anything, mm. it doesn't matter what everybody else does. Mm. So I planted personal initiative. Mm. Then Apollos watered, people and partnerships. What other people <coughs> in the society, in the environment, do to help me? Mm -hmm. What my friends, what my mentors, what my financiers or investors do to help me? And then the, the last one, God gives the increase, the power of God. Mm -hmm. So people and power of God come only after personal initiative. So mm -hmm. if you, the individual, you have no intention of succeeding, no desire, no motivation whatsoever, nobody can move you to succeed. So the individual in question <coughs> has to decide that. I want to succeed. I want to improve my lot in life. I don't like where I've been deposited in life. So I want to increase my productivity, increase my place in life, make a contribution before everything else will come. So it doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter what the government. That's why I have a problem with socialism because socialism <laughs> encourages people to be lazy. Mm. If, if people, if you're there and say that we want to help people, people don't help themselves, you can do all you want and don't, don't, don't move. Uh, frankly speaking, do you think that there are some people, of course there might be a few, but mm -hmm. I think there are a large number of people who really think that they don't want to develop themselves or it, it is a ma matter of we not being successful in getting a particular message, as you said earlier, mm -hmm. we were tailored for them. Okay. to bring them on board. Uh, For instance, you have so many people at Agoblish Markets here and there. You know, those who don't go to church. So what about you? Do whether go to church or not, they are not left sure. out. All right. Meanwhile, if you don't tackle them, they create a lot of problems for the society. How do you get them on board? I think two ways are, and uh, we, we tackle this two ways. That's right. Now, when you go to my local community mm. and you're holding Bible tracts mm -hmm. or flyers of a mega event conference, yeah. you think you, you are doing a reaching out to them. You're messing them. Mm -hmm. If you go to a typical Ghana community, mm -hmm. you go food fair, kinky, let's yeah. eat, dress like them, mm -hmm. talk like them. Mm -hmm. That is one source of motivation. That's right. You, you blend with them, you make you you with, with them. them. No, you come with uh, crusades or uh, uh, outreach or big platform for events. What do the people need? How do they dress? Local, That's what right. language do they even speak? That's right. We go with them, we associate with them. That's why uh, the, the missionaries then were successful because, you know, we all like food. <laughs> so when I come to you and I bring food, you want to first of all, mm. you communicate. So we, 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 there's a, there's a, a click then. Mm. So that's a little we can do. I mean, uh, uh, assemblymen, MPs, look at commits, not the big uh, rides and all that. No. How do I get them? Go to eat with them. Mm. It's, 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 it's over a period of time. Mm. Then we can then give them the message. Mm. If, you, if you don't love them, you can't lead them. That's right. So you need to just love them. And that is enough motivation for most people. Uh, if you want to pick any one, any high-end successful person society, mm -hmm. let's go to any of these committees that now, even I cry here, yeah. and just be, put off your, your suits and mm -hmm. your African or whatever, go just normal. Yeah. The people will love that. That is enough motivation than all the audio message and TV messages. Mm -hmm. The people need you as a person. That's right. And that's what we are failing to do in most of these circles. That's right. And the second part of all this thing is this, is, is this way. Aside all this, scripture says that uh, if you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the best of the land. Mm. Key phrase two, willingness and two, obedience. Yes. Most of us are willing. We desire the things. Yeah, we wish for good, and but we are not willing to sacrifice right. the things that will get us to what we want. And that is killing dreams and killing people. Mm. I, I, I'm, I'm not satisfied of being selling at the roadside. Yeah. I desire to have my own, own my own shop. Mm -hmm. Are you ready uh, to sacrifice exactly. for the next one year, two years, to get where you want? No, no, no. Mm -hmm. I think I'll, I'll cope or the city's cope. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, but meanwhile, you need somebody else to come in, as it were, ignite that thing in you yeah. that you can mm. make it beyond selling on the street. Exactly. Otherwise, That's you mean. remain there for years without realization or the, without the realizing that you can also leave the street for for somewhere better. But let me ask you, um, Jeremiah, um, do you have a way of testing? You know, finding out how well, you know. Um, motivational speaking and those events have impacted on the lives of the people, the beneficiaries, for instance. Brilliant question. Um, in the middle, as I pursued my calling, is a question that featured strongly on my mind All because right. I didn't want to commit my entire life doing something that won't really make any difference. Great. So I, I, said, I began asking myself the question, is what I'm doing really, really making any difference? Absolutely. So, what I did was to do more interaction. All right. mm -hmm. I want to be able to interact with people who frequently attend our programs, who are in our events. And about a year or two ago, I met this young man who called me very excitedly. And mm -hmm. I stopped to listen to him and said, oh, you don't remember me? And I said, yes, I don't. And he said, well, I was one of your seminars in 2011. Wow. And you spoke about seizing the moment. And mm. I'm a young person who just come out of Bible school. So I felt that it was, a, it was a time for me to seize the moment and start right. my church. Yeah. So right. I have begun my church. I got a call not too long ago from a young man. He was actually my senior in his college, and he was ahead of me. He said, look, I didn't like reading before I met you, but now I read lots of books. I want to organize a seminar for the high school students in my, in my neighborhood. Mm. So he, he's doing it. But you see, the problem that many people don't realize is that life is very habit-forming. Mm. Somebody is 25 years old. They have acquired their mindset over the course of a 25-year period. Mm. So <coughs> one-time <coughs> event cannot overhaul or reverse an idea, a philosophy of life that, that they have acquired built up over all their years. lives. That's right. It is not plaster. It mm. is not band-aid. <laughs> you understand? That's right. So <laughs> if we are going to change the way they see life, their approach to life, they must be exposed to the thing as frequently as as possible. So that is why sometimes it. I have problems with the kind of messages that our pastors preach in the pulpit mm. because it's not a message that liberates. You, are, a you have 20 seconds to learn for me, please. It's, yeah. it's a message that puts people into bondage. Yeah. So they must be exposed to these ideas, this inspiration over a course of time. That's so right. can really, 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 really elicit an effective response. I can't response. agree with you more, Jeremiah. Give me your final words, um, <coughs> Bernard. I'll, mm. I'll, I'll, I must say uh, that I'm about I'm about wrapping up uh, seriously. Uh, I must say in two phrases mm. that nothing really happens unless something moves. So just of move, course. whatever you desire. And the last thing is, there are lots of voices, but there is a voice, which is which, which is so soft, so gentle, you may hardly hear it. Thanks very much, gentlemen. So I've been speaking to Bernard Kelvin Clive, an author, and also Jeremiah Boabing, a motivational speaker. I, how old are you? You don't say. I was, I was 25 just last week. Wonderful, wonderful. You have started all these things. Great. And uh, so while the show is still on, but before I, I let go, it is said that first impression counts a lot. But then, how are uh, women looking at these with regards to their appearance? Uh, as some adopt a button enhancement <laughs> in keeping their shape for various purposes. Button enhancement. Let's look at this feature. We'll be back after this. The buttocks on hips.